Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to 3D print a part. Now, the part that we're going to be using today is a left-handed pinion from an upcoming project. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail at the moment. You'll have to watch the video and subscribe to find out what it is. Anyway, today, this is what we're going to be doing. First of all, you open Autodesk Fusion 360. If you haven't got that, then the process is somewhat similar. but. This is for Autodesk Fusion 360. The link will be in the description. And um, the slicing software will be called Cura. You can get that from the Ultimaker website. Um, but anyway, this is the pinion. What you do is you come over to here, which is top left hand corner, file, click on file, and it will say 3D print. Click on 3D print, and you'll get this little box pop up. Now you select the pinion, and while that loads, it will preview the mesh which is basically the mesh which is put around the part to say this is the part that I want to be 3D printed it will choose the number of triangles that's sort of irrelevant and then refinement you'll have medium, low, custom or high I always choose high because that's just the best thing to have uh, and then your output and it will be send to 3D print utility tick that print utility cura you click OK and then as you see, Cura will then load up. And here you see the pinion on the build plate in Ultimaker Cura. Obviously it gives you an ETA of 1 hour and 9 minutes. It will use 4 grams of material or 1.42 meters. You can save the file or preview. So if you preview, you can see how it's going to be printed. Obviously it won't be printed here, this will be a translation to the floor, unlike a block of aluminium or steel or any other sort of material. The bit will not be milling away material, it will be depositing material to make a solid object. This is just a representation of how the layers will align up. As you can see, green is one line, yellow is another, red is the outer shell. The layer height is 0.1mm, the shell, infill, material speed, corner support, you don't really have to worry about that at the moment, I'll cover that in another video. Now what you can do is save it to file, or if you're going to be using a 3D printer, plug your SD card into your computer, obviously it detects it over here on the right hand side and then you can save it to a removable drive. If you do that, it will save. Obviously you want to give it a better part number than PI3 underscore 57 BFF, etc, etc, etc. So, I'll come off that. I'll rename the part YouTube Pinion. Hit enter. Save it to a removable drive. Save to a removable drive removable drive F as YouTube pinion under dot G code. Then you can eject, pull it out of your computer, go and plug it into your printer and then it will print exactly what is on the build plate. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video going from Fusion 360 to Cura. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'll be going through actual printer settings in another video, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you, and see you in the next one.